Okay, and hello, and welcome to the uh, JSIPFS Core Dev Team Weekly Meetup. Uh, it's the 18th of June. Uh, I've just got back from holiday, so I'm in a good mood. Uh, <laughs> uh, but David Diaz can't make it. Uh, he is back from holiday, but he's not here. I think he's teaching or something like that. So here we go. Okay, so please add your name if you haven't to the attendees list on the hackpad. I'll just paste that into the into the chat, 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 just in case we don't have it. Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, good, sorry. Okay, um, cool. Uh, if you can add your name to the attendees list, if you haven't already, add your, um, your update, your weekly update, and we will shortly go through, uh, go through that sequentially, and everyone can give their update. Okay. Okay, right, so from me, uh, da, 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 da. so uh, yeah, like I said, I was on holiday last week, so I didn't get a lot done. Um, I did have fine time to release a new version of JS IPFS API, uh, which is a uh, backwards compatible API change to files copy and files move. Um, so that's rad. Um, uh, so what I want to draw, draw your attention to is a PR I have open on the interface IPFS core repo um, and that's for modularizing the tests um, and it should hopefully make things a whole lot better uh, for well for devs for anyone who's using the that particular library um, but please please go and have a look uh, even if you don't review the code just read the description because it will tell you what's going on and what's changed, um, and it will be ace if you could, you know, put a plus one on it or um, or approve it or whatever. Um, that would be great. Um, yes, note taker. I forgot about that. Sorry, <laughs> I just seeing someone adding notes in, but that was great. Um, cool. Uh, so I'm blocked on uh, this PR for the lib P2P connection manager. It's open and I think ready. Um, it just needs someone to just review it again and eventually merge it. Um, I have uh, been working towards a 0.30 release today, um, mostly looking at the bit swap stuff, just getting those PRs all in a line. Um, and I think we're really nearly there. We've got uh, the interface stuff in, the API stuff is in, and uh, I'm just running tests on the JS IPFS side of things. And, um, and that's nearly there. So that's hopefully done. I also looked at the pin API PR again, um, which is rad, it is huge, but it's so nearly there and it just needs a little, little extra push and then we can get that in as well. Um, and the same hashes as Go, I also looked at that. I know there's been problems with building JS IPFS um, because the hashes have changed uh, in the modules for Unix FS. Um, so then after that, um, I'm hoping to look at and maybe get MFS merged. Um, uh, and that's it from me. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, rad. Um, that's very kind of you. <laughs> uh, so Alex is not here today, but he wanted me to give you this uh, update from him. Um, he says that MFS is ready to be merged um, and he's been working on adding intro tests as well, which is great. Um, and he says he's found an interesting bug where JSON passing of text, uh, binary or ASCII encoded data from Go in IPFS object get leads to the data field becoming corrupted. Uh, but but uh, IPFS object data is okay. So uh, that is okay. Uh, so is IPFS dag get should not be affected either as it is as it base64 encodes the data. Uh, and da, 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 yeah, IPFS dag result, something about that. Anyway, the, the, his update is in the hack pad. You are welcome to read it. Um, so like you said, he's finished MFS. He's blocked on a bunch of uh, pull requests. I'm hoping that I've merged some of them in today. Um, so that's good. Uh, so he's got some hash interrupt tests to finish. Um, and he wants to submit a P 
GDPR to go IPFS allowing for base64 encoding data fields. So that's great. Um, does anyone have any questions around that that I may or may not be able to answer? <laughs> Rad. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Okay. So Volker next, would you like to go? Yes. So I was also traveling for the past four weeks or something and hardly did any work, but I, when I do work, I concentrate on the graph sync stuff. Currently I mostly fight with pull streams. Like I've never used pull streams before and it's just like, I mean, it's a super easy concept, but just wrapping your head around it, it's not that easy. Um, because like sometimes it just don't get data for whatever reason and then you've missed the sync and whatever. Yeah. So that, that's what I'm fighting with. But um, I guess I just need to also figure it out myself and then I uh, keep on working on graph sync and we'll see how this goes. As this is my main OKR for this quarter and the quarter is slowly ending. So yeah, that's all I do. Right, thank you, Volker. Um, I always have a pull map with a console log in it handy, so I know what's coming through my stream. <laughs> um, but I'm sure you figured it out already. Uh, any questions for Volker? Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, Vasco. Hello. Um, last week I've been working in my OPR, the IPNS working locally. Uh, for now, I have. Uh, Initial implementation, it already works for publishing and uh, resolving uh, IPNS names locally, but uh, it is not yet uh, completely uh, equal to Go. And I'm now working in that, in that side and also in the, in the validations of results because I also detected a problem in the Go implementation. Uh, basically, as the, um, there is no specs for the IPNS in Go, I've, I've just digging in the code and uh, talked a lot with uh, Steven in order to understand some, uh, some things because I also am not uh, that experienced with Go. And uh, as I'm uh, working in the IPNS and there is no docs, I'm also writing at the same time a spec uh, draft for the IPNS. I think it will be good to have one. Uh, I'm not blocked on anything. Uh, for the, this week, I, I want to finish the resolve validation, the interoperability with Go, and add several tests, and also create the PR uh, with this first uh, version of uh, IPNS working locally. And then uh, I also want to analyze uh, uh, your Allen's uh, uh, pull request. There is the, um, the CI problem with Windows. I will check uh, if it is of your PR or not. I'm not sure. And I will uh, also try to close more PRs for still. And uh, that's it for me. All right, thank you. Uh, any questions? Not, okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, so who goes? Hi, guys. So I've been doing my OKR on big files. Uh, previous weeks, I implemented the, um, a new data store using the file API, the file system API. Uh, also, uh, implemented a new unmarshal uh, uh, method for the MixFS using a, a different uh, library. Um, the benchmarks um, uh, went okay, and I guess the PDF uh, module, this, it's a, a module done by uh, Mapbox, uh, and it passes the test, and it works more or less uh, 3x times faster or more than the current one, the protons that we are using now. So I think that might be a, a good improvement uh, to at least uh, make the downloads a little bit fa faster. And also I was able to implement uh, a streaming downloads. So right now we can uh, get a big file and actually download to the normal download to the user hard disk, hard drive, 
and basically don't blow up the, the machine with uh, making it uh, making it, uh, the file all <coughs> in uh, in the in the RAM. So it's uh, kind of tricky implementation, but it works pretty well. Uh, it's all streaming, so the the RAM keeps really steady, uh, so no problems there. And I think that's a cool one. I'll probably make a, a demo or something to explain it, how it works. Um, and next week, I'll continue with, um, with the OKR. I'll need to benchmark for the file system API uh, versus the index TV and probably also try to improve a little bit on the crypto side because uh, that's the main uh, slowdown uh, reason to uh, when we are you are getting the blocks it's 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 all crypto everything else it's pretty fast uh, but the crypto it, it takes forever to download them I, I'm always uh, waiting on box to, to be downloaded to the browser, and then it can make it uh, a little, bit, at least a little bit, a little bit fast. Uh, so basically, that will be it. Anyone has any questions? That's that's very cool. Um, uh, I don't know if people tend to bring like demos and stuff to these meetings, but I'd love to see like some sort of uh, demo of like things being way faster and stuff like that. That would be that would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's not really a question. <laughs> okay. uh, any other questions? Next one, I'll I can make a, a demo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Rad. Um, Cool. Uh, there was no other questions. Am I right? Cool. Okay. Um, so, Jacob. So I got uh, on Friday. I've got private networks working and talking between um, JS and Go. So those are those are functioning. Um, it's all working in Node. Um, that won't be functioning in the browser at this point. Um, because of security concerns with having a swarm key in the browser. Um, but there's potential, maybe we can look at that in the future. Um, but I've got, I'm just finalizing the PRs for that. Um, and then looking at some of the, the JS IPFS, the test in JS IPFS to work on making those a little bit more stable. Because right now they're kind of timeout based, which is not good for JS IPFS. <laughs> so just because that connection is a bit, um, problematic to, to test again. So I'm looking at that and there are some inconsistencies there. So hopefully you can narrow some of that down, but those should be good to go. Um, this week, so I'll start soliciting feedback on that. Um, I did have to fight with pull streams a lot to work on that. So Volkler, if you need some help, maybe, maybe I can help. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, other than that, I, f there's, I put a fix in IPFSD um, controller. The process daemon wasn't passing um, config in, which when I was testing the private network, it was trying to connect to a bunch of public nodes, which is no good. So um, pass that in to shut that off. So hopefully we can get that merged in. Um, then this week I'll finish on private network stuff. And then if I don't, if there aren't any higher priority items, I will probably start working on the um, libp2p switch upgrade to a state machine. Nice, thanks, Jacob. Any questions? No, okay. You got off lightly. Uh, next up is, uh, so, oh yeah, so, wait, so you said you're gonna prepare a demo for next week? It's gonna be demo heavy next week, it's gonna be rad. Yeah, so I'll do it for the all hands. Um, I could probably also bring it, bring it to this one as well. But. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, obviously, we're gonna keep it to the time limit. Um, but yeah, um, that would be rad. Uh, so okay, next is Diogo. Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, I've been working on debugging the SIPFS uh, WebSocket star in the peer to peer switch. By the way, thanks for Jacob. He helped me a lot with understanding how JSIPFS connects with 
how to train to get some really good experience and stuff like that. I've made a few cool requests. I've also noted that one of those probably should then go to switch, but to the transfer for a uh, website which is that, but I'll have to, to look at that. Uh, I'll continue working on the demon. Uh, sincerely, I need some guidance because I have like this huge OKR that's um, bettering the error handling and the demon stability. But most of the time, I'm just nitpicking some of some bugs, trying to make some tests. But I, honestly, I don't think that's the way to go. But I don't know how to approach that. I've been trying to talk to the bit, but this is out last week. I hope to drop it in. But if any of you has uh, got an idea or some feedback, I'll I would appreciate it. Because I sometimes feel lost in this OPI, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't know if he has, has something to say about it, you know? Or maybe I'll just uh, make a call with the bit, see what he has to say. Well, yeah, by the way, Alan, I saw your. your um, request of the interface IPFS score, and I think that will help me. I haven't reviewed it, I've started reviewing it, but uh, haven't finished, but I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you're muted. You're, you're muted. Alan, oh, I'm sorry. Muted. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> what did I just say? Uh, yeah, that's, so that's that, that's great. Um, thank you for looking at the pull request. Um, yeah, like uh, like it says in there, a lot of it is mechanical changes, and there's a lot of files that have moved around. But um, the the description is just like what what's there and the changes. And um, yeah, hopefully it should make some stuff better. Um, in terms of you feeling a little lost around uh, like error handling and stuff around the code base, I uh, honestly. Um, I wouldn't know exactly where to start either, but I think what you're doing doing the research is can only be a good thing and often i'm i spend my time flapping around thinking i'm really sure I'm, what i'm meant to do until i kind of figure out something that that is worthwhile and um it will eventually come if you keep if you keep prodding it keep looking into it um but some, you know uh but yeah i can't really offer much more advice than that um i'll see if i can find some time to to help out um but yeah Okay. Yeah, it's just sometimes if I, I I spend like two days researching, I feel completely motivated and not. I feel that I I'm not producing anything. You know. That's, yeah. Uh, no, no. But you have you spent you spent that time constructively looking into problems and figuring out things in your head. You might not realize it, but it, things are slowly coming together, and then you'll be like, oh yeah, right. I just I need to do this. So this is this is an obvious thing that will need that will help us in the future. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I don't know exactly, but um, yeah, I'll try and help out if I can. All right, thanks. Um, all right, any any questions for Diego? Okay, uh, who's next? Who's not next? Uh, Machin. So I was working on rewriting WebRTC star to use uh, the interface data exchange, which basically abstracts away all the um, stuff that socket IO was previous, previously doing with the exchange. Instead, it now either uses a direct connection to that peer if there is a connection of a circuit, or uses a rendezvous module to exchange uh, the data required to establish a web RDC connection. I already gave a demo on the all hands call, so if you're there, you probably saw that too. I've also linked uh, the presentation and the code here again. Um, I'm currently blocked on a bunch of uh, issues and PRs that are required to finish up the uh, individual modules that interface data exchange is made of. And the next things I will do is getting WebRTC star, the second version merged, and also getting the libpdp rendezvous module finished and hopefully get that PR merged. That still is open and has anybody got any questions?
Cool. Okay. Um, okay. Next, there's no one. There's no one else. So on to questions. I had a question from Alex um, about our interrupt tests, uh, and he wants to know if they're run anywhere as part of CI uh, and prevent anything from being released if they fail. Um, I know that they are part of the release um, issue template, and they are something that are that is meant to be run manually before uh, a release happens. So as long as we manually run them, uh, they they are run. Yes, uh, but as far as I know, there's no CI which or you know or some automated kind of test that sets them off when something happens. Does anyone else know? No, as far as I know, there's nothing that runs that. I think it's worth, I don't know if maybe this is a thing to talk about at the um, the Berlin meetup, but I think there's a lot of, when I'm looking at, because I was running into this doing the private private network of where does this go, of I've got to run the private network and test it against JS and Go, and right now it's just getting stuck in the JS test, which is not the best. So it would be nice if we had that interop, a separate interop test suite that we could run regularly and we could run against tags and potentially hook up to something like Greenkeeper to actually do more tests against that consistently. But. Yeah, I'd, uh, I would like to see them run more often because um, I guess at, at release time it's, uh, it's kind of a lot, possibly a long time after pull requests have been merged and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it would be cool if anyone has any ideas about when or how they could be run. Um, if they could raise them somewhere, maybe in the JSIPS repo or the interrupt repo, um, that would be rad. Um, I don't have any ideas at the moment, but I would like to see them run more often. Um, cool. Any uh, other, question, other questions from Hugo? Need help making pull string to web stream with back pressure. Is that a request for help? Or uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I also had a couple of uh, days struggling with pull streams. Um, right now, I'm doing. Well, the, all the download streaming, uh, I can guarantee the back pressure everywhere, but I need to do the post stream to node stream. And I would like to avoid that and do directly post stream to web stream. Uh, it's, it's not critical, but uh, it's, I would like to, to do it directly instead of going uh, to a readable stream and then going to uh, a web stream. Mm -hmm. But uh, I couldn't figure out uh, how to do it because I really don't have much experience with pull streams. Do you have uh, some code or um, a repo that you can link to that we can maybe have a look at? Uh, sure. Yeah, right if now. If you add it to the hack pack, then the hack pack. Hack pack. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, it's easier because my, my current trip is still not uh, on GitHub. But uh, I'll add some some information on the iPad, and uh, if you want, anyone has experience with it, this, please give me a shout. I've got, I've got some experience with pull streams, so I'll t I don't mind taking a look. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll probably just pass the um, notes note streams to web to web streams uh, function that I have, and basically would be just. Translating to pull streams, that exact, exact function, function. Okay. Uh, another question there is uh, how do I connect from the browser to a Go IPFS daemon using WebSockets? Anyone can help me with that? I have no idea if that's even possible. <laughs> that uh, be an answer. No. Maybe David could help with that. <laughs> <laughs> And your ob object link, uh, sorry, object patch add link? Oh, yeah, yeah. So basically, um, right now I need to handle uh, a lot of files. 
uh, to do a, my testing, and I would like to keep it keep it all of them uh, under one folder. So I only need to keep track of one hash. Uh, and basically, I figured out that I needed to uh, do this stuff. So I, I changed the link to move one file in, uh, under a folder. But basically, it crashes on JS IBFS. And as I can't use Go IPFS because there's no WebSockets, as far as I know, uh, if anyone has any knowledge about how, why this crashes, or if there's any other way to, basically, uh, my goal is uh, I can I, I only need to keep track of one hash, and I, after that, I only do uh, list that hash, and I get all my files. And I can copy paste all the the, the ashes and do my testing uh, instead of always keeping a, a, a log of every file that I add to IPFS for testing. But that's some minor stuff. Only if anyone has uh, like a direct answer for that. So. I don't off the top of my head. Um, I don't suppose any. I don't think anyone else does by the blank face. <laughs> uh, I guess if it's erroring, then uh, maybe uh, if you can, um, if you can uh, submit a uh, a issue to the JS IPFS repo, that'd be good. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely do that. So distractions. Um, cool. Um, yeah, if you can do that, then then I can take a look. Whilst others can take a look too. But um, cool. Um, and that's all of the questions. Does anyone else have any other questions or things they want to raise and talk about, or just want to shoot breeze? <laughs> cool. Are we all stoked about working on IPFS still? Yes, great. <laughs> okay, um, it was very nice to see your faces again, and I will uh, see your faces again soon, uh, and also hopefully in Berlin and stuff like that. So, um, cool, I think that's it then. Thanks a lot, guys. Speak to you next week. See Bye. you. Bye. Bye.